Hi everybody, welcome back to Freshco Graphics. In this channel we gonna talk about contemporary home designs and ideas. Today, we'll talk about best bamboo fence ideas. Hopefully, the pictures presented will provide inspiration for all of you. Let's just get started. Bamboo fencing is a decorative and environmentally friendly, alternative to chain link or wood. Bamboo has several advantages as a fencing material. First it is a grass and not a wood, so it takes less time to grow and replenish the supply. In fact it only takes 5 to 7 years to grow a mature bamboo plant for harvesting, whereas wood takes 50 to 100 years. The second advantage of using bamboo as your fencing material is that it is strong and durable. Finally bamboo looks great. Bamboo fencing can be used for several purposes. First you can use it to create a privacy fence, that not only keeps people from seeing into your yard, but that also provides a secure perimeter of your property. Secondly you can use bamboo fencing for a garden fence. Finally bamboo can be used to build a Japanese fence to decorate your garden or yard. Bamboo fencing can be found just about anywhere. Most home improvement stores will have bamboo fence suppliers, and they will carry most of the bamboo fence supplies that you will need to both set up your bamboo fence, and maintain it properly. For example, they will offer the bamboo fencing materials, bamboo gates, bamboo fence panels, stains, and even hardware for assembling your bamboo fencing. Like any other natural product, bamboo fencing will need to be treated to prevent decay and weathering. It is recommended that you apply a thin coat of UV-resistant stain to your bamboo fencing, and bamboo gates to protect the bamboo from the weathering effects of your climate. Also like any other natural product, bamboo will weather, dry out, and crack over time. The amount of weathering that your bamboo will experience will depend on the weather conditions in your area, and the amount of maintenance that you do. Bamboo fencing can turn a drab backyard into a relaxing space, that brings to mind the laid-back feel of a tropical resort or private getaway. Or, depending on the style of fencing you choose, you can go for a more East Asian look. The flat plains of Chinese and Japanese bamboo fencing, gives off a zen-like calm. But bamboo fencing has been gaining popularity for more than just its aesthetic appeal. Bamboo is also an eco-friendly alternative to using typical hardwood materials, which often come at the expense of deforestation, and the endangerment of certain habitats. Bamboo, on the other hand, is one of the most easily renewable resources we have. The style of bamboo fencing you choose for your yard, depends entirely on what look you want to go for. But regardless of the style, most commercial fencing is going to come in rolls or panels. These are commonly made of 1 inch diameter bamboo poles or 1 half inch diameter bamboo canes. These are usually held together by heavy duty steel wire. Woven bamboo is another option. The canes are smaller and held together in bundles. Panels of woven bamboo tend to look smoother, and can make for a more modern, yet still natural look. Panels and rolls also come in the split bamboo style. Split bamboo rolls and panels are made out with the outer surface of the bamboo shoots, and canes and tied together with galvanized wire. As for durability, fencing made with poles and canes can last about 20 years. Woven and split bamboo fencing usually lasts for about 10 years. One installation solution for bamboo fencing is to install the bamboo roll, or panel fencing atop of your already existing fence. This can be done easiest, and most successfully if you have either a chain link, or a flat wooden board fence. For the chain link fence, simply wrap the bamboo roll around it, attaching it to the chain link with heavy duty steel wire at regular intervals. For the flat wooden board fence, use woven or split bamboo, and attach with stainless steel staples. Standalone fencing is the best kind of bamboo fencing you can install. It is considerably more time-consuming, and involved than installing over existing fencing, but the result is well worth it. 
Installing a standalone bamboo fence requires that you first put in place a vertical framework of heavy wooden poles upon which to attach the actual bamboo fencing. The bamboo itself should be 1 to 2 inches off the ground, as direct contact with the soil's moisture will cause it to rot. You can cover the gap with wire fencing or wooden panels.
Thank you for watching the video. Don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe to my channel. I hope this video helps you to make a bamboo fence for your home. Thank you.